So what do I think of this game? Well, let's first start from the beginning. You play as one of the five different classes. In my case, I chose to be Barbarian. You have Necromancer, you have Sorcerer, you have Rogue, and you have Druid. You guys already know this. There are presets. You sort of create your own character. What you do with your talent tree affects your game style. So, first problem appears here. Problem with the skill tree, you need to respect every single time. The higher the level you are, the cost just increases. If you want to try something new, be ready to spend gold. Nodes are connected most of the time. Like I mentioned, higher the level, the cost just increases. I mean, it's fine, I get it. There's gonna be purpose of the gold use here, but penalty is crazy. They say you have option for numerous character builds. As a barbarian, if you intend to push Hora or Whirlwind, Whirlwind got nerfed to the ground. You have few options, game end worthy basically. Cosmetic options are extremely limited. They say large open world. Yes, it feels dead to me if you ask me. Don't get me wrong, first your main focus is to beat the campaign. Okay storyline, by the time you beat the campaign you're level 50-55, depends on your case. You have your capstone dungeon, you can do it alone or with a group, that is up to you basically. You enter next tier, you do your renown and you have your altars to collect. And the goal is to get into tier 3 afterwards, last being the tier 4. For me beginning of the tier 4 was rough, since I rushed myself into it. You feel super weak. Over time, with the gear, you progress. Everything is fine here. The only good thing from Nightware Dungeons were, I just ended up leveling faster. Because I spam so many of them. Most people didn't even want to join me for higher tier Nightmare Dungeons. And there, and there is no point. There's no point. Simple as that. This has to be the worst event whatsoever. You have these ads, right? They're linked. You gotta kill them. Then you get access to the boss to hit them. The moment I kill these small ads, there's a small time frame to hit the boss a couple of times. I mean, I can crit for million, whatever, it doesn't matter. You have to repeat the process all the time. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's annoying. It's a stupid event. It's one of the worst that I truly, truly hate. You can make it fun. I just want to smash. I don't want to wait my turn. Hey, now you can hit the boss. Hello. Perfect. At this stage, stuff matters. You want to do nightmare dungeons and hit level 100. So for most people, at least that was the case for me. But I felt bored around level 80. There wasn't much to do. The biggest positive was them increasing the Nightmare Dungeon XP. You gotta have correct talent tree along with the Paragon points correctly spent. After all, you wanna do more damage if you wanna progress. But Nightmare Dungeons itself is hell. There are so many stupid affixes that it's not even funny. Corpse Bow, for instance, one shots you instantly. Doesn't matter the level, doesn't matter the gear you have, it's just so random. I get it, it's meant to be maybe a funny mechanic, but I don't know. I got used to it, it's not an issue, but it could have been better. Most people don't want to push higher tiers, I don't blame them. And once they start to nerf here and there, process becomes worse. At least that was the case with Barbarian, that's the only class I played the most. During bet I played Sorcerer, that's about it. You farm health tie chests, loot you get is underwhelming. You try to push higher tier nightmare dungeons, the loot is even worse, what's the point? There should be requirement on what kind of gear that drops from nightmare dungeons. There shouldn't be any sacred gear. Once they start nerf you here and there, the process becomes even worse. I have played the endgame, there's not much you can do. You either go for Lilith 
and you keep farming nightmare dungeons to upgrade your glyphs grow slightly stronger and then what what if you done all of it what is your next goal you beat the game go uninstall or what some of you would say go level a new class you can try pvp for fresh air but that gets boring really quick also gold is super crucial because you want to have the best rolls on your gear so be ready to spend millions You do nightmare dungeon tier 70, 75 plus, whatever. You get 650 gear. I even seen six, 600 gear item level. World bosses were found for the first time. To increase for millions was found for the first time. The loads itself is just disappointment. And it becomes a hideous process. You stop doing it basically. The only highlight of this boss after you've done it for a few times is to see who will die. They could maybe add some achievements. Maybe something more exciting mechanic that you never seen. I mean just killing same boss every week gets boring maybe introduce rate content i don't know to refresh the game basically and you get your unnecessary ancestral gear Same goes for a Shava, don't know how many times I kill this guy. They need to come up with something new. If you do this boss with just level 100 people, it's about killing the boss under 30 seconds. 20 seconds, maybe 10 seconds even. That's about it. There's nothing exciting whatsoever. Loot, you don't even want to look at it anymore. Trio of Whisper is also trolling you with loot. Check out the gear I'm gonna get. Going for the gauntlets. Let's see. You get two-handed mace from a glove drop. There should be at least two, three type of different gloves. It's funny. It's just funny. Performance issues for PC player is crazy. If you have cross-network gameplay, you will lag like hell. Worst places are PvP zones and hell tide areas. If you don't want to lag, you need to turn off crossplay. Some of the side quests were interesting. Like these barricades here. Do you see these barricades? They're super annoying. I guess they like stopping people. glitched out skeleton mob here I've seen many of them this is just one of them that I recorded I mean it's fine you can have issues like this however they should have been fixed if you ask me I mean look at him he can still cast spell and I can't do anything except stunning him it was funny situation if you ask me the game is unfinished I mean, Diablo 4 endgame is far from perfect. In Helltide, you have these circles also that hit you directly. Obviously, you can avoid them, but I get it. You're supposed to dodge. And here I wanted to prove a point with the Helltide, as some of you know, they added a new update where uniques can drop from chests, mystery chests, normal chests, and here actually one dropped. I was like, no way. So what about people spending so many hours to farm these uniques? There's a reason you did not get them. 
Look at how many sacred items you even get. It's ridiculous. Look at my level. I'm level 100. It gets even worse. Helltide is just huge disappointment. Was fun for the first time. Stash problem. We don't have a dedicated slot for gems. Everything is a mess. There's no filter and nothing. I always end up spending 10 minutes of my time just sorting out gear. The rolls are even worse than the other. Look how many unnecessary unique drops we have for barbarian class. None of them are useful. Some lag issues. Here I'm demonstrating it for you guys. It's ridiculous. Sometimes you would end up crashing. And when you crash, let's say in Helltide, you lose all of your cinders. It's ridiculous. And we have season 1 coming up with new gems and some cosmetic rewards. Are you guys excited? This was my experience with the game. And I end the video with funny butcher footage. That's probably the highlight of the game. They have loads of stuff to do with this game. That's my opinion at least. What do you guys think? Comment below.